This video will provide an overview of the new Site Builder feature, replacing the topography menu. The Site Builder makes it easier than ever before to add topographic data to your site. Let me show you. In this example, we're going to search for a location in Texas. Enter it into the Search for Places feature, and then zoom in to find the actual site that you want to work with. I'm choosing a site just outside of San Antonio, Texas. Once you've found your location, click on the plus to add a new site button at the bottom of the screen. Once you've centered your site in the frame, click on the green button to add it to your list. Once you do, the menu on the left will show you a list of available products that you can add to that site. Here I've selected contours in a one meter resolution. If you haven't created an account yet, you'll be prompted to log in so that your progress can be saved. Now that I've selected contours, the data is processing and it will be added to my site in a couple of seconds or perhaps minutes if it's a bigger site. Once you have contours, you can click on a specific line feature to read the elevation, or you can add labels by toggling on the label button. Here I'm adding spot labels and the default label tag will be ID. You can easily change what the label includes in the attribute table by changing it in the dropdown. Here I've selected elevation and I'm actually modifying the text string to add to the units at the end and to simplify um, the actual text that's displayed. Now I'm changing the formatting so that I have a black background and white text and I'm changing the size. Perfect. In the layer manager, you have the option to toggle on and off different layers using the eyeball, as I've just shown, as well as download the layer. Clicking on the download button will allow you to get a copy of the contour shapefile that you've just created. Now returning to the site builder, I'm going to add an in-app point cloud to my site by clicking on the green plus and then start and then waiting for that information to finish processing. Once it's finished, it will overlay on top of the other data sets that I already have, so the contours. Here I can see the point cloud is streaming in now. If I click on that layer, I can adjust how that data is visualized. By adjusting this height slider, I'm actually changing the color of the points based on that height band, which is in meters. As well, I can adjust eye dome lighting, which creates shadows on the points by adjusting the intensity and radius sliders. You can view your data in 3D by clicking and holding down the right click button on your mouse. If you want to get a more detailed view of how the elevations are changing across your site, you can use the cross section tool shown in the menu on the right. Drop down a couple of points using the cross section tool and then select view cross section. So if I take another one across this portion of the site here, click view cross section, my points are loaded in and I have a great graph demonstrating how the elevations change. If you want to get a view of the point cloud using only the ground elevation points, open up the classification tab and deselect everything except for ground. Now toggling off all of the layers and returning to the site builder, I'm going to add one more product to the map which is a surface hill shade. I'm going to change the resolution to one meter and I'm going to wait for that data to process. This is an imagery layer. So an image of that hillshade is actually going to be uploaded and draped on top of my site, as you can see here. This is another great way to visualize your site and how the elevations across it are changing. Similar to the contour shapefile, you can download this layer simply by clicking on the download button in the layer menu. Finally, if you want to add a new site, simply click the plus button at the bottom of the screen and do it all over again.